the greatest gunslinger of the Old West. Wild Bill Hickok was a folk hero of the American Old West, known for his life on the frontier as a soldier, scout, lawman, cattle rustler, gunslinger, gambler, showman and actor, and for his involvement in many famous gunfights. He earned a great deal of notoriety in his own time, much of it encouraged by many outlandish, often fabricated tales he told about himself. Some contemporaneous reports of his exploits are known to be fictitious, but they remain the basis of much of his fame and reputation. Today we will take a look at Western movies, this famous gunfighter character of the West. If you enjoy this video, hit the notification button to get my new videos. If you want to check out my many many other videos, head over to my channel, the link is in the description. Please take a moment to like and subscribe to the channel as well. I appreciate it. Let's get started. When you talk your mouth. The Plainsman, 1936, a western directed by Cecil B. DeMille, starring Gary Cooper and Gene Arthur. The film presents a highly fictionalized account of the adventures and relationships between Wild Bill Hickok, Calamity Jane, Buffalo Bill Cody, and General George Custer, with a gunrunner named Laxima, Charles Bickford as the main villain. The film is notorious for mixing timelines and even has an opening scene with Abraham Lincoln setting the stage for Hickok's adventures. Anthony Quinn has an early acting role as an Indian. A remake using the same title was released in 1966. Calamity Jane, 1953. A Technicolor Western musical film starring Doris Day and Howard Keel and directed by David Butler. The musical numbers were staged and directed by Jack Donahue, who a year later would direct the Day musical Lucky Me, 1954. The film is loosely based on the life of Wild West heroine Calamity Jane, Doris Day, and explores an alleged romance between her and Wild Bill Hickok, Howard Keel. Express, 1953, a western directed by Jerry Hopper, filmed in Kanab, Utah, and starring Charlton Heston as Buffalo Bill, Forrest Tucker as Wild Bill Hickok, Jane Sterling as a Calamity Jane type character, and Rhonda Fleming. The story is largely based on the 1925 silent film The Pony Express, while the threat of a Californian succession is taken from Frontier Pony Express, 1939. The film is an historical account of the formation of the Pony Express, rapid transcontinental mail delivery in the United States in 1860 to 1861. Although it gives no credit to the real founders of the Pony Express, Buffalo Bill Cody did ride for them, having signed up when he was 15 years old. The Plainsman, 1966, a western directed by David Lowell Rich and starring Don Murray and Guy Stockwell. It's a remake of the 1936 Cecil B. DeMille film of the same name. After being taken prisoner by Crazy Knife and a band of Cheyenne warriors, Wild Bill Hickok's life is spared by Chief Black Kettle, but when he is set free, it is without his horse and his boots. Calamity Jane, driving a stagecoach, gives Hickok a ride back to the fort where Lieutenant Stiles of the army seems indifferent to Hickok's warning that the Cheyenne are now armed with repeating rifles. At the saloon, where Wild Bill renews an acquaintance with old friend Buffalo Bill, he spots a gambler named Latimer, cheating at poker and deals with him accordingly. Crazy Knife and his men take Calamity Jane captive and Latimer turns out to be the one supplying them with rifles. Hickok manages to save Jane, who loves him, and the fort ends up with a new officer in command, General Custer. The White Buffalo, 1977, a fantasy western directed by J. Lee Thompson and starring Charles Bronson, Kim Novak, Jack Warden, Slim Pickens and Will Sampson. While Bill Hickok is haunted by his dreams of a giant white buffalo, 
so much that he travels the west to find the beast. Along the way, Hukok meets the great Lakota warrior, Crazy Horse, who is also searching the plains for the giant white buffalo, which has killed Crazy Horse's daughter. Hickok and Crazy Horse team up to kill the elusive buffalo. In Plains Indians culture, the white buffalo is a sacred animal that has great spiritual significance. In particular, it plays a crucial role in the history and religion of the Lakota people through the story of the white buffalo calf woman. Wild Bill, 1995 an acid western about the last days of legendary lawman Wild Bill Hickok. The film was written and directed by Walter Hill and based on the 1978 stage play Fathers and Sons by Thomas Babe and the 1986 novel Deadwood by Pete Dexter. It stars Jeff Bridges, Ellen Barkin, John Hurt and Diane Lane and was released by United Artists. It was a box office bomb, grossing 2.1 million on a budget of 30 million, and received mixed reviews from critics. I ain't wearing no pistols. Wild Bill Hickok, Swift Justice 2016. Wild Bill Hickok has faced many challenges on his quest to redeem himself from a colourful past as an outlaw and gunslinger. He settles as a lawman in a small town, trying to enjoy a much quieter life. Marcus Robbie and his band of outlaws threaten to destroy the sleepy town after a gambling dispute. Bill must pull the demons out of his past to gain the strength and courage to defend the place that he calls home and the good people in it. It's about three or four days out. Well, we're looking for a fella. Maybe you can help us. Judge, find. jury, and execution. Best they knew it wasn't going to be anything good, so they had to be brave. Sir! Do not go looking for a fight. You let them come to you. Your true law, man, the steepest time of turmoil. Somehow, it always turns out. Hickok, 2017. Legendary lawman and gunslinger, Wild Bill Hickok, is tasked with taming the wildest cow town in the West. While delivering his own brand of frontier justice, the infamous hard-drinking gunfighters reputation as the fastest draw in the West is put to the test. Thank you. Killing people. Path of a boy. Reckless and careless and stupid. Or you can become a man. Things are gonna change with this. You're gonna have to do something about that young Marshall of yours. Entire life. You're still running. Son. Every man has demons. Sometimes it takes a good man to stop bad people. Deadwood, 2019. Keith Carradine as well Bill Hickok. Events unfold in 1889, about 10 years after the series ended, as dignitaries and most of the series regulars gathered to celebrate South Dakota's statehood, when Senator George Hurst makes an offer to Charlie Utter for his property claim, and Charlie declines. The results are explosive. When you talk, your mouth look... I ain't gonna get no gunfight with you, Hickok. But you will run your cunt mouth at me. And I will take it to play poker. Anyone wants to can find me at the Grand Central. Thank you.
you enjoyed the video. No Let me know what you think in the comments. I appreciate your likes and subscribers. Hit the notification button to get my new videos. Take a look at my channel and check out my Facebook page. The links are in the description. I am Wrangler. Bye for now. See you again soon. Interesting facts about famous people.